Here's a quick video on impulse, momentum, and collisions. So I have two rubber balls that look like they're the same size, feel like they're the same amount of mass, but behave differently when they collide with a surface. When I drop this ball, it hits and sticks, so its change in velocity is from well, some value to zero immediately after its collision. When this ball collides with a surface, it bounces, so its change in velocity is from whatever value prior to the collision to nearly the same speed but in the other direction after it collides. So there's a much uh, smaller change in velocity for the sad ball as there is change in velocity for the happy ball. Now, if I roll the sad ball down this ramp, it's going to convert some amount of gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy by the time it reaches the bottom. And the happy ball being of the same mass, actually mass would cancel out of the equation either way, when something converts potential energy into kinetic energy, it's only the change in height that determines the speed. But the happy ball is going to strike this wooden block and bounce back off it. So there's going to be a large change in velocity when this ball hits the wood block. There's not going to be as big of a change in velocity when the sad ball hits the block because it's going to hit and then bounce, fall straight down instead of hitting and bouncing back in the other direction. So let's just see if that's right. Here comes the sad ball, gaining speed and exerts a force on the wooden block when it collides with it. When the happy ball is rolled from the same height, it applies enough force to knock over the wooden block.